This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak, and we're going to recap the Southwest Stakes and talk about Tapacher, your impressive winner. The Tapacher was coming off of a layoff in the Southwest Stakes. He broke from the inside. He was on the pace throughout. Uh, he actually set a perfect trip. He was he saved ground all the way around. Uh, pulled clear in the stretch. A, a nice win. He ended up earning a 98 buyer speed figure. That was a good start to his three-year-old campaign. He's probably going to show up next in the in the Rebel Stakes at Oakland, followed by the Arkansas Derby. Now, as, his pros, as for his prospects uh, to run longer, uh, maybe 10 furlongs in the Kentucky Derby, I'm not so sure that he wants to really go that far, but I'm not going to give up on, on him at all because he just came off that big effort. But these tappets are high strong, and they like to get involved early, and then when they get in these longer races, like 9 and 10 furlongs, they don't have as much left late. But we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Well, he's looked great, he hasn't done anything wrong, and we'll see how he progresses. As for your runner-up, Strong Mandate, uh, he, he ran a good race. He was wide throughout. He made a nice wide move, turning for, for home. He ended up finishing a clear second. A great start. He has a much better 10 furlong pedigree than Tapature. And I think uh, for long term, looking at the Kentucky Derby, I think the one you want to look for is Strong Mandate. I really think that, that he has the opportunity to, to continue to move forward. I like how he relaxed in the early going. He raced wide and he still finished okay. He was a little bit all over the stretch, all over the place in the stretch. But he needed the race, should move forward in the Rebel Stakes. And if you go over to horseracingnation.com, you can see a lot more information on the Kentucky Derby. And if you go over to horseracingnation.wordpress.com, you can see my updated Kentucky Derby Top 10 list each and every Friday. Uh, I'll be back with another Kentucky Derby contender next week.